Good medical morning. The Black Death was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. Between 1347 and 1351, it wiped out 30 to 50% of the entire population of Europe. And if there's one animal to blame, it's likely infected fleas, making them one of the deadliest insects in history. Now, of course, fleas no longer kill millions of people. But as it turns out, they still transmit plague, they're still a nuisance, and they're still incredibly difficult to stop. Fleas are one of the oldest pests on the planet. In fact, primitive fleas were dining on dinosaurs about 165 million years ago. And they're also one of the most abundant. Today, there are more than 2,500 species of fleas across the world, like the cat flea. Those are the ones you're most likely to find feasting on your pets. And then there are species like the human flea, which actually seek out human hosts specifically. And seeking is a flea's specialty. They can sense your breath, your warmth, and even the vibrations of your feet. And when they find you, they do what fleas do best. Jump. According to one study, some fleas can jump nearly a hundred times farther than the length of their body, which would be like an average man jumping nearly 175 meters into the air. The secret to their spring is a stretchy protein in their legs called resilin, and it works like a rubber band in a slingshot. Now that makes fleas difficult to capture and kill, but it's what they do once they land that makes them a truly terrifying pest. First, they use blades in their mouth to tear into your flesh. Then they use a straw-like structure called an epipharynx to slurp it all up. Yummy. Adding insult to injury, fleas have proteins in their saliva that keep your blood flowing, so they have a constant supply of food. And that's actually why they itch so much. Your body, or your pets, is reacting to those proteins. But there's one flea that takes feeding to another more horrifying level and unfortunately it prefers to prey on humans. Tunga penetrans, aka the chigo flea. Instead of drinking blood from the surface of your skin, the females burrow into you and then start laying eggs. And fleas lay a lot of eggs, up to 40 each day and as many as 2,000 in their lifetimes. So if your dog brings back a few fleas from the park, you soon could have thousands. And the truth is they can do a lot worse than just make you itch. You see, even modern fleas can transfer diseases like typhus and, yes, the plague. In fact, in the summer of 2019, the discovery of prairie dogs infected by plague-ridden fleas shut down parts of a Denver suburb. And in 2015, a teen reportedly died from contact with fleas infected with bubonic plague. Now, fortunately, fatal fleas are pretty rare, and most likely it'll be your pets, not you, that have to deal with them. But if you do see one or two jumping around, you definitely should try to get rid of them. And here's how. First, identify the source. And if it's your pet, treat them with an insect growth regulator like Lufeneron. Prevent eggs from hatching and larvae from becoming adult fleas. This does kill adult fleas as well. So, this particular product, as you can see by the picture, is for cats. You do not want to use a medication designed for dogs on cats and vice versa. Next, clean your home, though you might want to steer clear of flea bombs or foggers, they're inconvenient and don't always reach the nooks and crannies where fleas are hanging out. Instead, repeatedly vacuum or mop your floors and toss any bedding into the washing machine, making sure to dry it at high heat. After that, all you can do is sit, wait, and hope that you're flea free. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can see all of our new content. Hey there weight loss and fitness fans, this is Watson, and we have a special word to Leanne congratulating her for her weight loss with Dinergy. And it comes from Eden Cupid, who you may know from Umbrella Academy. Hey Leanne, I just wanted to send you a congratulations for losing 20 pounds with Finergy. That's amazing. Um, the way I keep up and keep myself in shape is I usually like to run. I do about a run. I run about two times a week and then I have also added weightlifting into my uh, workout routine as well. So there you go. Congrats Leanne and way to keep off those pounds. Now check out Finergy for yourself. Boost your metabolism into high gear and start today. There's a link below.